morning. Welcome to my channel. My name is Bobby and I am the Emperor of the Universe. And one of my skills besides being an amazing painter, actually that took about 10 years to actually, yeah that sunrise in Africa, that's the accumulation of 10 years of just focused on painting, being an artist, calling myself an artist. When it glows in the dark too, it's sick. But I'm talking about being an empath. That skill, that ability, talent that I have. Besides being able to, apparently, one of my talents is to be able to endure pain. Not just because I'm a Taurus, but I have an ability to endure pain, physical pain, and emotional pain, and psychic pain. And as an empath, and if you're really tuned in the source, you're going to feel it hard when, when things go wrong. Like when all those kids got shot up at that school recently in Texas. And I will go to another thing that just happened in Texas. Over 50 people died in a trailer. There were migrants that were coming here. Probably paid a lot of money to get killed. Um, and you have to understand, I'm not talking about politics. This I could give a shit about these scumbags. Politicians are all criminals. And they should all be in jail. I'm talking about spirituality. I'm talking about magic. I'm talking about things that most people don't even understand. And being an empath is magic. It's, a, it's an ability to tap into emotions that other people are feeling. And the more tuned into source you are, the more able you're to feel other people's pain and suffering. Like, you know, Star Wars, the first hope when Alderaan blows up, you know, blow up Alderaan, the Death Star. And Obi-Wan feels it. He's like, whoa, you know, something happened. <laughs> it's like, fuck yeah, the planet just blew up, dude. So yeah, you felt it. He felt it, right? And that's what it feels like. And I was trying to figure out why I had such a really bad time. I mean, like I said, I'm really healthy. I'm doing the right. I don't drink alcohol ever. I don't smoke cigarettes. They're just disgusting. And I'm really good about not eating it crap food. So I'm a lot of, I've actually been vegan for a minute. But... <sighs> Anyway. So yeah, so I'm doing everything right, and then I get hit with all these fucking headaches and shit, and just like yeah, it's really bad. And dehydration hard. So I'm like, I'm like, can't I can't keep water? I can't. My mouth is just constantly dehydrated. So I'm trying to figure this out, right? And then I read that story. I already felt that, and I started, and I read, and then I read the story about all those people dying in the trailer. Some of them are still hospitalized, and hopefully they'll survive. And I thought about it. I was experienced what it's like to die in a trailer. It's heat stroke. It's dehydration. I don't know how long these people were in there. And I don't know what the fuck the scumbag that was driving the truck thought. You know, you got to understand people need oxygen. They need air. They need, you know. Right? <clears throat> so these poor people putting their lives in somebody's hands just to get here. And they died. And they died horribly. And I was feeling it hard. And it's not good. And I didn't understand it until God pointed out this morning with that story. I was like, son of a bitch, that's what it was. Like I said, I feel I feel everything. Yeah, yeah, what's up, babe? <laughs> Crows, they love me. They love almonds. Anyway. And bread. But to be an empath is to feel whether you like it or not. I feel pain all the time. I find myself breaking down crying and don't even know why. It's not even me. It's just I'm feeling the emotions of people just overwhelmed. Fucking overwhelmed. Imagine being in that trailer. And you're just seeing other people around you dying and there's everybody's just... I can't imagine. It's the nightmare fucking scenario. There's so many lately. Don't you agree? So many nightmare scenarios. Not a whole lot of good news lately, right? Oh, by the way, <clears throat> apparently people are just drilling holes in other people's gas tanks and just draining it all out. That's how bad it's gotten. But yeah, that's just a side note to all this fuckery and weirdness. But yeah, the powers that God gives, and you got to understand them and 
you gotta accept the responsibility. Apparently I can deal with this because it's important. It's important for me to understand and learn and to maybe speak truth to other people so they understand it. I don't know, I'm still working on it, right? Still Harry Potter first, first, <laughs> first year at Hogwarts, right? I'm still figuring out the whole groove. But yeah, so being an empath means you feel people suffering and pain, especially when they're dying on that. And here's the thing, this is the point of this video. I'm sorry it took me so long to get to it. It's not normal to die in the trailer of heat. It's not normal. It's not normal to die at 13 in a school getting shot up by some little fucking psychopath. You should have never been in that store getting a gun. Not that I'm a fan of guns. No, people are supposed to die normally in their sleep when they're old. I mean, you have the accident, a cart overturns and somebody breaks their neck, God forbid. You know, accidents happen and people die in accidents. But that's a rarity. It's not as common as people think. So when people die in such a horrible fucking fashion, it reverberates. Okay? That, those deaths reverberated in the subconscious. The collective and I felt it hard I'm sure a lot of empaths did if you didn't understand why you were feeling like shit this past week now you know especially if you had really bad migraines and dehydrated constantly and nauseated so like I said the gifts God gives right you just have to control it and learn to deal with it and, and God forbid have to deal with it again right there's too many bad things going on and I will simply say that I wish politicians would work themselves out of a fucking job because these guys are horrible. <clears throat> Since the beginning of time, they've been promising to fix the problems of the world. And from the beginning of time, they have done jack shit about it. And yet they're fucking all rich. And we're still all poor. And we still all have the same fucking problems we had 30 years ago, 40 years ago, 100 years ago, 10 years ago. It's not getting better, people. And these people are, they're in it for life. These people don't want to go nowhere. They like their cushy jobs and their exemptions from every from the peasants' lifestyle. So, yeah, this one's a heavy video, but it's important for you to understand. These are all lessons for us to learn. This life is a lesson. Each moment is a lesson. And each moment is a miracle. And in that, you live in a miracle. Yeah, mind-blowing, isn't it? A little deep, a little sad, but we are fucking going to win this, man. They can't win. The bad guys will not win. With love and with light, we will conquer all. And we will change hearts. Or they will just get kicked to the curb. We, bad, you know, mean people suck. Anyway, I love you.